Okay. Hey, Bill, how are you? I can't thank you enough for having us on today. We are getting so excited about the big game. But I mean, honestly, I don't have tickets. I bet you don't have tickets. And so what we're going to do is we're going to have a home gate. Instead of a tailgate, which should be freezing cold outside, we are going to bring everything inside and have a great, fun party. So I want you to invite your friends. I want you to invite your family. Have them all over. We're going to cook up some great recipes. I've partnered with Farm Rich because they are the MVP when it comes to game day recipes. And one of my favorites is a new product that they've started making, and it's a grilled cheese stick. And so what we did, we kind of elevated this and put a little bit of a spin on it. We've got shot glasses. We filled those with tomato soup. And so now we're going to use that great grilled cheese stick as a dipper. This is something so different and so fun. All of your guests are going to love that. Farm Ridge also makes the best loaded potato skin ever. And it's perfect for game day because it's already shaped exactly like a football. So we took a piping bag, filled it with sour cream, and then we outlined the stitching on the football just to even drive home that theme just a little bit more. Bill, I got to tell you, I love meatballs. And so we have a recipe for a mozzarella meatball stack. So this is a, it's a mozzarella bite that Farm Rich also makes. They've done all the work for us, which is the great news. And then you take that meatball, we're going to stack it on top. Dollop of marinara sauce goes to finish it up, and then you skewer it. And I found some adorable little football um, skewers that are so much fun that will also add to this whole home gate tablescape that we're working with here. Um, I do have a new cookbook that I'm so proud of, and it's the Southern Living Party Cookbook. And it happens to have a tailgate chapter in it. And um, one of my favorite recipes out of that chapter, and honestly out of the whole book, is these bacon bites. Now, three ingredients, Chris. Okay, can you, can you edit it? Okay, okay, yes, thank you, okay. Three ingredients, three ingredients, okay, we're starting now. Okay, three ingredients, Bill, that's it. Bacon, breadsticks, and brown sugar, and um, wrap, the bacon around that breadstick, roll it in the brown sugar, pop these in the oven just until the bacon gets really crisp and caramelized, and you have got an appetizer that people are going to be talking about for weeks to come. I do have to tell you that I love a cocktail, um, and one of my favorites for game day is a mimosa because you can start drinking these in the morning and nobody is going to be judging you. But it is, you know, I mean, it's the big game. So we wanted it to be a little more festive. So we're adding a little bit of grenadine, a little bit of pineapple juice to this. So it's kind of like a, you know, a little twist on the classic. But don't forget, if you have kids or if you have somebody that would prefer a mocktail, all you need to do is substitute champagne with um, ginger ale. And now you've got a fun festive cocktail that everyone can enjoy. You know, one of our challenges when we have parties, I've found with writing this book, was that you end up being in the kitchen, working and sweating. The host and the hostess has almost worked themselves to death and don't get to actually enjoy the party. And I don't want that to happen for game day, not with this home gate. We're going to ensure that you're going to have fun too. We're going to get our menu planned ahead of time. You're going to shop ahead of time. You can set up this fabulous tablescape weeks in advance have all of that ready to go and then again don't be uh, don't be you know ashamed <laughs> to ask your guests for help they don't mind bringing something let them bring an hors d'oeuvre let them bring a dip just to make sure that you get to enjoy this day just as much as everybody else for all of these fabulous recipes and more please head to farmrich.com they have the best game day recipes ever